Taylor was lazily scrolling through Twitter, the screen's glow throwing an uneven light on her tear-streaked face. A headline appeared on her feed, Travis Kulse talks future with Taylor Swift. Not on the agenda, her thumb hesitated over the link, torn between morbid curiosity and the desperate hope that it would be clickbait. Earlier that day, she had assisted Meredith in planning decorations for their forthcoming trip to Nashville. The room was filled with laughter, which contrasted sharply with the deep aching that had developed in her chest. Travis was on new heights again, but his typical raucous exuberance was muted by a startling question from his co-host. Thinking about tying the knot with the songbird, Kels, Taylor halted paintbrush lingering in mid-stroke, as Jace's words blasted through the speakers. Travis's response, which had started out light and playful, had taken a quick turn. Whoa, Jace, let's apply the brakes a little. Taylor and I are wonderful. But marriage, that's an entirely other balgam. He went on to discuss his emphasis on the next season, and his desire to concentrate his profession. Each statement felt like a brick hitting a perfectly built wall, their future together collapsing before her eyes. When Taylor clicked on the story, she prepared herself. It wasn't as horrible as she had anticipated, but the harm had been done. Travis expressed his love for her, but marriage was shown as a distant possibility a trophy at the end of a long, uncertain path. Tears welled up again, distorting the phone screen. Was that it? Were her thoughts of white lace and fireworks? Going to be another chapter in her heartbreak story. A sob escaped her lips, and she buried her face in a pillow, the comforting aroma of lavender doing little to calm the storm inside. Her phone buzzed. It was Travis. Hey, beautiful, he said, concerned. I just noticed the article. Are you okay? Tears transformed to a watery chuckle. Just peachy, she coughed out, like a perfectly unripened one. There was a moment of silence before a familiar warmth suffused her voice. Tell you what, Travis said with determination. Why don't you get on a plane? We'll write our own dang story. Nashville sounds rather delicious right now, doesn't it? Taylor's face lit up with a cautious smile. It does, she whispered. Perhaps happy ever after wasn't a destination but rather a journey they created together, one song, one catch at a time. Taylor scrolled mindlessly through Twitter, the screen's illumination exposing the tear trails that stained her cheeks. The headline read, Travis Kulse on marriage, not on the agenda right now. Her heart beat in a frenzied rhythm against her ribsage. They'd been cuddled up together earlier that morning, with sunshine dappling their faces. Travis mumbled lovely nothings, his breath tickling her ear. Marriage had not been explicitly addressed but the future had seemed full with hidden promises. Now, those promises appeared to have evaporated like smoke when Taylor clicked on the story, she braced herself for the impact. Travis, in his normal raucous style, had been interviewed for a sports podcast. When the question of marriage came up, he responded flippantly. Right now, I'm focused on the season. Besides, who could handle getting married to a rock star? He chuckled, but it sent shivers down Taylor's spine. Tears welled up again, distorting the words. Was that all she was for him? A trophy girlfriend, an outlier in his generally football-centric life? She grabbed her phone and phoned Travis's number. It went directly to voicemail. Panic clutched her throat. Was this a breakup conveyed via podcast? Just then, the doorbell rang. Taylor opened the door while furiously wiping away her tears. Travis was there, a sheepish grin on his face, holding a bouquet of lilies, her favorite, in his palm. Hey, babe, he replied, his voice full of anxiety. Is everything all right? The dam broke. Tears flowed down her cheeks as she threw the phone at him. The interview article glaring accusingly on the screen. Travis's smile faded as he read. Taylor, I he faltered, his usual confidence gone. She abruptly cut him off, the words rushing out. Is that it, Travis? Is it just the season? Am I just some insane pop star you can't handle? Travis's expression relaxed. He grabbed her cheeks and tenderly wiped her tears away with his thumbs. No, no, no. That is not it at all. Listen he described the interview, the pressure to deliver a soundbite, and his awkward effort at comedy. He expressed his love for her and his wish to create a future together, 
but only on their terms and in their time. As he spoke, Taylor's heart began to calm. Maybe marriage wasn't on the horizon, but their connection was genuine. She took a big breath and nodded. Okay, she replied, her voice full of emotion. But you better be the one down on one knee when you're... Travis returned to his podcast, New Heights, and this time they discussed their relationship. Usually, these interviews were amusing, with Kelsa's funny comments and barely veiled claims about his fantastic fiancé. But this time, the atmosphere was different. So, the interviewer, Lil Dicky, insisted, leaning closer, when are we going to hear wedding bells? Kels, Taylor's a catch, you've got to lock that down, right? A beat of silence passed, and Kels's familiar booming laugh filled the speakers. Whoa, guy, slow your roll. Taylor and I are good, we have something special, but his voice trailed off. Taylor's breath caught. There was always a but with Travis. She knew he loved her. Their bond was electric, a whirlwind relationship that had caught the world off guard. However, Travis thrived on routine particularly the disciplined pace of the NFL season. Taylor, on the other hand, craved the turmoil of invention, as well as frequent touring and travel throughout the world. Look, Travis explained, right now, football is my life. Taylor's on fire. We are both at the pinnacle of our careers. Marriage is a great thing, but it has to wait until the appropriate moment. You know, Taylor let out a stifled sob. The right time seemed painfully elusive. Her eyes welled up with tears, causing the image to blur. Was their future simply an indefinite hold on their dreams? She envisioned a life full of music and joy, a family centered on common interests, rather than trophies and stadiums. She grabbed her phone, and contacted her best friend Abigail. As the dial tone repeated, Taylor realized it wasn't only about the wedding. It was about wanting a future in which their goals could coexist, one she wasn't sure Travis was ready to build. The light from Travis's phone illuminated Taylor's tear-stained face. It wasn't the soothing pre-bedtime routine of scrolling through TikToks together. This was the intense white light from a breaking news alert. Her heart beat in a frenzied rhythm against her ribsage. With shaky fingers, she unlocked the phone. According to the headline, Kels on marriage, focused on the season, not the finish line. The report included snippets from Travis's interview on a prominent sports show. He gushed about their relationship, calling Taylor his biggest cheerleader, and describing their connection as undeniably special. Then came the gut hit. When the interviewer guided the topic toward marriage, Travis responded flippantly, focusing on the impending football season. Disappointment ripped into her throat. They'd been together for about a year, and rumors of engagement had started to circulate in the public. Taylor, ever the romantic, had discreetly begun sketching wedding dress designs in her notebook. Now, those dreams felt as flimsy as tissue paper caught in a hurricane. She let forth a deep, uncontrollable sob. Shame stung on her cheeks. Weren't these meant to be the golden years of a partnership? full of promises and everlasting love, she felt silly, having been used for good publicity over the offseason. Suddenly, the bedroom door creaked open. Travis, freshly washed and with damp hair, looked in, his face filled with apprehension. Hey, what's wrong? He ran over, leaving his phone on the nightstand. Taylor cried as she threw the phone at him, the incriminating headline burning in her eyes. Travis scanned it, his brow furrowed, then comprehension dawned. He sighed, a deep rumbling that normally sent goosebumps down her spine. This time, it felt like a cool breeze. Tay, that jerk entirely misinterpreted what I said. I was just his voice trailed off. He knelt alongside her, his massive hands embracing hers, his touch warm her cold flesh. Look, marriage is important to me, he stated, his stare serious. But right now, the season is chaotic, and I don't want anything to distract me from my focus on the game. You understand how much this means to me. Taylor sniffled, a glimmer of hope blazing inside her. But Travis, she said softly, her voice thick with sorrow, don't I deserve some type of timeline? Is there any suggestion of a future? His gaze softened. Absolutely, he replied, his voice steely. Here's what happens. We win the Super Bowl. Then we go on a long vacation. It's just the two of us. And after that he hesitated, and a humorous gleam returned to his eyes. Well, let's just say I might have a very special question for a very special Miss Swift. Taylor's lips formed a misty smile. It wasn't the firm commitment she'd hoped for, but it was a beginning. A pledge murmured beneath the glow of the phone screen. Pulling him into an embrace, she allowed herself to hope that. 
just maybe, their love story would end happily, even if the path wasn't nearly as straight as the headline.